Now let's think about how to find percentages of numbers. So here we need to find 25% of 60. Well we already know how to find fractions of numbers. So if we know that 25% is 1 quarter, we can find 25% by dividing by 4. So we have 15. So to find 25% of 88, again, because 25% is 1 quarter, we can divide by 4 to get 22. Now, to find 75%, we need to remember that 75% as a simplified fraction is 3 quarters. So we can find 75% by dividing by 4, then multiplying by 3, because we know that to find a fraction of a number, we divide by the denominator and multiply by the numerator. Dividing by 4 gives us 10, and then multiplying by 3 gives us 30, so that's our answer. So what is 75% of 48? Well again, we divide by 4 times by 3, so our answer is 36. Now how might we find 10%? 10% is equivalent to 1 tenth, so we can find 10% by dividing by 10. So here we have 7 and 13. So pause the video and see if you can find 30% of 70 and 40% of 90. 30% means 30 over 100, so we can simplify that to 3 over 10, or 3 tenths. So we can find 30% by dividing by 10, then multiplying by 3. So that gives us 21. And here, 40% is 4 tenths, so we divide by 10, multiply by 4, so 40% of 90 is 36. So if, for example, 40% of children in a school passed their exam and there were 90 children in the school, that would mean 36 children passed the exam. So now pause the video and see if you can answer these. 50% as a simplified fraction is 1 half, so we find 50% by dividing by 2, so 50% of 24 is 12. Now 90% is 9 tenths, so we divide by 10 times by 9 and we have our answer. So how can we find 37% of 500? 37% is 37 hundredths, but that fraction can't be simplified. But it doesn't matter, we do the same thing, dividing by the denominator and multiplying by the numerator. So we can find 37% by dividing by 100, then multiplying by 37. 500 divided by 100 is 5, and 5 times 37 is 185, so that's our answer. So now pause the video and see if you can find 19% of 800. 19% is 19 hundredths as a fraction, 
And though we can't simplify 19 hundredths, we can find 19% by dividing by 100, then multiplying by 19. So dividing by 100 gives us 8, and then multiplying 19 by 8 gives us our answer, which is 152.